everyone to your supermoon reading for July 3rd. Ooh, that supermoon is tonight. Okay, guys, getting straight into this. Let's see what's going on with you and see what's going on. Going on, going on. Confidence is the key to success. Make sure when you're manifesting, you're keeping that confidence alive, right? Be confident in yourself. Make sure that you are giving yourself af affirmations, right? This prompts to your, your manifestation. This is where you're pumping yourself up. You're saying, I am the success. I am the victory. You know, I deserve this. The world sees me as a success because I am successful. Building yourself up, right? My ambitions are within reach. I am good enough, right? Believe in the impossible. Right now, it's not the time to, you know, it's kind of like that strawberry moon, you know? Go big or go home, right? Make sure that you are believing in the impossible if you think that, you know, well, this one person probably, because they own the restaurant down the road, I really like them, but they probably won't want to date me because he owns five restaurants and he's really rich. You know what I'm saying? No, go for it. Try that. You'd be surprised, right? Could be soulmates. It's time to release negativity. Get rid of that. Bring in that confidence. Take that action. Get in there, right? I, higher heart activation, uh, activation, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Yeah, guys, it's, you know, if this has something to do with love, you know, just really get out there. Remember, you know, hey, the divine doesn't care about money. Status quo means nothing, right? Two people are meant to be together. Two people are going to be together, right? Everything that you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This is all about confidence, all about strength. Be confident. You know you can make that money work hard. Right now is, is the time, because this is a Cap uh, Capricorn full moon, it's time to put in the extra risk, put in the extra strength, determination. Really focus on what you really, really want, right? Okay. Make those professional breakthroughs. You want it, get in there, stand up with your power and make a mark on it, right? Whatever it is that you are trying to manifest, make a mark on it. Let's see. Yes. Long-term view, hard work, perseverance, diligence, wanting those sustainable results. You can do this. You've invested the time. You put in the energy. You know, go for it. Release what's no longer needed. Cleanse your space. Make room for your manifestation and let's go, right? If there's, you know, you want love, throw away something. Make that room. Throw away something you really, really love. You'd be surprised. It'll open that door to bring in something new that you love, right? Because you're showing the universe, you know what? I'm accepting of receiving this. I may not have had room for it, but now I do. And it means more to me of what this is than what maybe that older thing I loved was, right? Save that money, security. I was watching a guy on YouTube, guys, and he was saying that, you know, when you want to have money, and the best way to manifest is to get rid of some money. I know, it's crazy. But he literally said that, and it actually makes sense. Donate a little bit of money because every time you make that energy go out, you get something back, right? One door closes, another one opens, um, right? But you're saving and conserving your, your energy from things you don't want also. Don't say, you know, don't talk about things you don't want. I've been really learning from him. I think he's really awesome. He's a master. Um, he seems to know a lot about stuff. So every time I learn something, I'm going to throw it out because he's teaching me a lot of things too. It's not like I'm a genius. I don't know everything in the world. I'm always learning as well. So, you know, and really coming to this is just like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense because there's that room throwing away stuff to make room. But if you're actually giving away the money and you want the money, giving away, donating money brings more money in, right? Because you're doing it also from the kindness of your heart, um, right? So that you can have the abundance you need. That makes room for more money to flourish. Same with love. If I'm in love with this, you know, if I'm in love with this sweater, but even if it's real love, right? I'm going to throw away that sweater and you'd be surprised this person could come in. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to throw away your loved ones. 
It just means throw away something that you really, really love so that they can give you something back, right? Because now you have more room in your heart, right, in your heart space to accept more love. Also getting rid of negative energy from your exes. We talk about that a lot too. Get rid of that negative energy from your ex. Do not allow your ex to hold you back from having true love, right? Because if all your energy is going towards the ex, the ex, the ex who hurt me, who hurt me, who hurt me, right? Then you're not making a whole lot of room for your manifestation of a new person coming in. If you're trying to get your ex back, then, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you know, heal yourself so that you can figure out the ways to get this person back. There's all kinds of things that you can do um, with the courage and having courage. There it is again. You guys are sitting in this queen of wands right now. Make sure the negative energy is gone. Fill it full of positivity, full of determination for what it is you truly want. Having teamwork between you and the universe, your higher self, the universe. Yeah, it's going to be you, the higher self, and the universe, right? That's going to be the powerful three um, during manifestation, <clears throat> right? So that you can have the victory for what it is your heart really, truly desires and what you truly desire making way for, yeah, a passionate new beginning of opportunities coming towards you. Open your mind to the new horizons, making sure you're pushing you know, leave your comfort your comfort zone behind, guys, and embark on travel in these new ideas, um, traveling even through new energies, right? Releasing the old energy and allowing the new energy to travel towards you because, you know, energy, it moves, right? So you want to remove it, push it out, and tell the universe, let's go. I am ready to receive this. I'm raising the vibration. I'm getting this in. This is what I want. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Projecting. Don't forget to project what it is you want. Let's not forget that either. If I really want it, let's visualize it. Visualize it. Keep the vibration high. How is it that I feel when I feel like I am driving this new car? Don't just, oh, yeah, I feel good. No, no, no. Get in there. Get giggly. Feel how it really, really feels. If you want this person, feel how it feels to be on a date with this person. It makes you excited. It makes you happy. Feel it. Visualize it. Get happy. Start giggling. You know, because raising those vibrations opens those doors. Vibration of happiness is the key to manifestation. Release. Make space. Raise the vibration. Release negative for positivity. Right? And then when you're done with it, on this one, I want you to throw it away. I know on that one, I told you, don't throw it away. Don't throw away the visualization. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because that was a different kind of, that's the strawberry moon, right? That's different. This one, you're going to actually do what I always tell you to do before. Visualize it. Visualize it. Release it to the universe. Now I want you to release. Let it go. Let it flow. Out of mind. Out of sight. Out of mind, right? Um, and allow that shift to take place. But make sure that you also tell the universe that you are ready to receive and that you are worthy enough. Affirmations are very important because it keeps you positive and it keeps you confident. You know what you're worth. You are worth just as much as everybody else on this planet. You know you can have it. Okay? And then, of course, we have to wait for perfect timing. I know you guys' favorite word. Eh, it's my favorite word, too. I'm just going to say it is. I'm just going to let it go, right? It's my favorite word. It must be because I keep saying it. <laughs> Starting to think maybe it is my favorite word, even though it's the word I don't like. But, hey, you know. But, in seriousness, that's just the way it works. Let the divine handle it. You're going to give it now to the divine. Let it go. Let it flow. And then, you, um, before you know it, right? You'll start receiving what it is that you're asking for, whether it's in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of days. Some people are getting it in a couple of days. I'm going to tell you right now, I can feel that energy. You're manifesting tonight, and you're going to get it by the end of the weekend. Literally, because you know what? You've already, something you've already manifested, something that you are sitting right there at your fingertips. Now you just need to really just work the extra magic. Um, and I think the extra magic for a lot of you is it didn't come... So you got down. I want you to pick yourself back up. Throw that back out there. Throw it out there, guys. You feel it. You know it's there. You just can't, you know. So just go. 
right here. Thank you. Okay, so here's a law and attraction right here because remember, manifesting is all about law and effect, right? So your law and attraction card is, I can reach for a better feeling thought. From your non-physical vantage point, you understood the eternal evolving nature of your being and the promise that this leading edge contrasting environment held. You understood the powerful law of attraction and the fairness and accuracy which, with which it responds to the free will of all creators. By reaching for the best feeling thought you can find, you will shiver with exhilaration as you reconnect with your purpose with your zest for life and with you. Yeah, well, remember, we're what? Remind yourself that you are a soul spirit being, right? Here on a journey. Your soul is on a journey. This is an adventure for your soul, right? Let's get one for money over here. That was amazing. Remind yourself, if you think you cannot have it, then you probably can't. <laughs> Unless it's really fated for you to have so. <clears throat> Ooh. The physical me is materialized spirit. Some say that you should not want money at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual. Okay, here we go. But we want but we want you to remember that you are here in this very physical world where spirit has materialized. You cannot separate yourself from the aspect of yourself that is spiritual and while you are here in these bodies. You cannot separate yourself from that which is physical or material. All of the magnificent things of the physical nature that are surrounding you are spiritual in nature. Guys, we all know we need to have money to live. It's a part of our root chakra. We're the only beings on this planet, the only beings on this planet that actually have to have abundance of money. So if you think that money is evil, then you have to think of why do they say this? What are they doing with their money to make it evil? Why is it the root of all evil? It's not the money that's evil. It's the people who have the money who think that they're better than everybody else. Or you see what I'm saying? They make it evil. Okay? It's like saying you shouldn't drive because cars kill people. No, people are bad drivers or accidents happen. There's slick roads, nature. Things happen. But the, you know what I'm saying? But the car didn't kill anyone. It was accidents. Otherwise, we shouldn't drive. Right? So you might as well just take all the cars away. Okay? It's the same thing. But you have to understand that money, you guys, is a part of your root chakra. Because it's a part of the survival. So never think, I cannot have money. You know, I invest, I invest, I invest, and it's not good for me. No, it's good for everyone. That's why it is here. That's why it's materialized. That's why it's a part of the being. Ever since it was made, it became this way. It was introduced into... The society of how we are. It's the way we think is what we need to get rid of. If you think that the money is the root of all evil, then you're not going to have it because you're going to say, and I don't want to be evil. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, rethink the way you're thinking. I cannot have love because maybe I'm not lovable. Maybe I'm not like, no, that is not true. You have to readjust the way you are thinking about yourself. That's why affirmations are so good. I am a good person. I am good with money. I can handle money. I'm not going to be mean to people because I have money. I know a lot of rich people, and they're not mean because they have money. Yes, we hear a lot about the money snobs. There's a lot out there, and they do treat the, the lower class a lot different. A lot of them. But I know some that don't. They donate everything. They do a lot of things that are wonderful. You can't put them all into one category, all right? So tell yourself, tell yourself a different financial abundance story. I am worthy. I have this. I can have this. There is no reason I should be lacking. 
There's no reason. Why should you be lacking? That's like when people keep saying we have, we have a foodage shortage. We can't feed this country because there's not enough food. You think for a second that the divine would allow a whole world to go short on food? No. If he didn't do that, he might as well just blow up the whole planet. We don't have a water shortage. We don't have a food shortage. We don't have a money shortage. You know, what you're doing, it's all propaganda because that's how they keep you in your, you know, they keep you in your mind. They teach you these things. We have to re-teach ourselves what is real and what is propaganda and what is fed to us. There's so many things that are fed to us. We have to rethink about what is really going on in the world. I mean, the only thing that's really going on in the world is the poor rainforest. That's for sure. The lungs of the world are being destroyed. And that's what's causing a lot of the <clears throat> problems that we have within the world itself, okay? But a lot of the stuff that you hear, you have to ask yourself, what is truth and what is it that I have been taught, right? So this is attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Love that. Okay, so it's all about how we're going to do things. A windfall of abundance. I have a windfall of abundance. I am attracting love. I am attracting this car. I, you see, and I can do it because I am strong. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Remember, abundance comes in many ways. Money, health, friendship, love, what you need. And we are all put here to have these things. All put here to have these things. No one is any different from anyone else. It's just the way that you do things. Yeah, see right there. Have Release the resentments about money. Man, I tell you. Thank you, Spirit. I mean, man, you couldn't say that any different, right? <clears throat> because, I mean, man, that was the next card out. And that's crazy because we just talked about that. So we'll just read it really fast. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world and yourself and then shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. It's about perception. It's all about perception. How you perceive yourself, how you perceive things that you want. I'm not good enough. I can't have that house. Really, maybe that house is on sale. Look for it. Ask for it. Look for it. Take the time to take action. You know what? Because I've had a lot of people, hey, throughout my life. I want a Victorian house. I can't afford one, really. Well, I remember a friend once, because we live in Redlands over here in California, where they have a lot of Victorian houses, that house was on the market. Now, they said that it was really cheap because it was haunted, but you know what? Whatever. All I'm saying is it was down, it was cheap, it was in her range, and you know what? She manifested that, and I, like, blew my mind because that was the first time in my life, one of the first times in my life that I actually believe in manifestation, because I never knew a whole lot about it until she said and I wanted it I wanted it and I kept manifesting and she found it and it was right within her price range was it haunted I don't really know but they, they kept saying it was I don't know well they say a lot of houses in Redlands California are haunted so it could be a possibility I don't know I never I don't remember her ever saying anything about it but I do know it's made of wood so could have just been settling a lot who knows right so remember that your words are always of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Because if we keep saying, oh, because the world is dying and money, we don't have any. They have to reprint money and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, where are you going to get your money? Well, it circulates, it circulates, it circulates. Everything's fine. <laughs> right? <sighs> Unless we have another pandemic. Oh, God. Which we are never talking about that ever again. 
ever, if anything, we rebuke that in the name of the Lord and the universe and the divine, right? Rebuke that. That was crazy. I find that and rebuke that. <clears throat> Never speak of it. It's horrifying. Okay? And remember that worrying about illness causes more illness, so let's not talk about that. That's crazy. Thank you, Spirit. I just said that. <laughs> I'm on a roll right now. Spirit's like, you just keep saying it, and I'm just going to keep telling you exactly what not to do. When you give attention to something, your potential for attracting it is increased. The more you, the more vivid the details, the more likely you will attract it into your experience. So any negative emotion you feel while observing something is your indication that you are negatively attracting this into your life. So watch the fears. Watch the fears. Imagine yourself having beautiful things, beautiful things, my friends, and you will succeed. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.